YouTube. Thank you for visiting my channel, Merging Timelines. I'm Melanie, and we are going to do our general spread for the month of March for my sign, Taurus, for the zodiac sign of Taurus, star sign of Taurus. How are you all doing? This message is going to be for my sun and moon placement. So if you have sun and moon in Taurus, this message is for you. Thank you again for checking the channel, sharing, liking, and subscribing my videos. It means so very much to me to have your love and support. And I am so excited to be able to channel messages for all of you. Taurus. Taurus. Sun and moon. Taurus. Sun and moon. Please show me what Taurus needs to see. Taurus needs to see for sun and moon signs. Taurus, I'm still doing free personal reading, so please check the information box below. I have my email address there. It's at Merging Timelines. And just shoot me an email, and I'd be so honored to get connected with you. We can FaceTime. We can Skype. Whatever you have, or if you'd like for me just to simply send you a link to a recorded message, I can do that as well. All right, Taurus, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this energy for you. What can we see, Spirit Guide? Show me what the Taurus needs to see. What does Taurus need to see for my sun and moon signs? Are you thinking a lot, Taurus? Because there's nothing coming out yet. I feel like you're up in your head. Are you talking to an air sign? Are you acting like an air sign? Reconciliation is on your mind. There's the three of cups you want to celebrate. Or are you dealing with the third party? Because you're heartbroken within. Taurus. Wow. I was so excited and then I got heavy. All right, let's see what let's let's see what this is about, Taurus. You got the six of pentacles, right? As the influence. So even though you got three and three, three in the environment, three in within, so there's there's third party on your mind, right? There's a wanting to celebrate something, but the heart feels heartbroken. You have the desire for an equal give and take at this time, right? Um, you want a gift. You want balance. You want um, someone to give to you what you give to them, Taurus. I can, you're fixed. I already know that you know very good well what you offer, what you can offer. And so in this current moment after this three of cups, I feel like you're, you've already planted seeds towards this person or this Think, because this is a general reading, so please take it as it applies. It doesn't have to be in love. It could be in business. But there is something, or in family, right? There's something that you've already planted seeds towards, or you're currently planting the seeds, currently telling someone, I'm interested in reuniting. I'm interested in coming together with you. Ooh, eight of pentacles is the future queen of wands is the advice i don't know why i did that sorry <laughs> eight of pentacles right so i see like this taurus you're very fixed right and you're very grounded and you're very stable on what you can see so you have no doubt in your mind about how to go about creating things, how to create something that is not just something you can see, but it's also grounded and stable. It's not something that can be messed with. So six of pentacles, moving to the seven of pentacles, right? The desire for the equal give and take. Then the, sand, the seeds were planted, meaning you told someone or you showed someone, all right, I, I put it out there. I show you what I want, whether it's in business, relationship, family ship, whatever it is. 
Um, and then I see you working hard on it in the future. I see you putting all of your effort towards this. I see you being very particular, taking your time to to make sure this project, this relationship is abundant and stable and grounded just like you are. Um, Taurus, I see the Queen of Wands as your advice. So you're, if this is you, if this is a male and you're dealing with a fire sign, I see your eyes on this person who is just so attractive to you, someone who is just so powerful to you. She demands attention. And if you're the Taurus female, then I see this as you. You're the person that demands attention. You're the person that um, is empowered and very sure of what they have to offer their potential. So that's very good, Taurus. I really do see um, you working very hard on yourself as well to come out of this heartbreak that you feel within so that you can get this reconciliation that's, that's being presented to you in your environment. So Taurus, this is for my sun and moon signs with Taurus placements in their chart, sun and moon. If you, again, would like a personal reading, please check the information box below. You will see... My email address is mergingtimelines at yahoo.com. I just got instantly excited about something. We'll see what we'll see what it is. And um, I'll be happy to read for you, Taurus. All right, so we're going to cut the deck. Thank you, spirit guides. Cut the deck for my Taurus. Taurus and sun and moon. Sun and moon. Bottom of the deck. Taking another direction. What's underneath that? We're not feeling blocked anymore about something. So taking a direction, moving another way, right? You've been moving the common steady route. You've been staying familiar. But at this time, you're ready to take a chance. Take a chance with someone or take a chance with something. Sorry, I got to plug in my phone. Um... Something like that is here. Let's go ahead and pull these clarifiers and see what's going on. You're using your intuition when it comes to reconciliation, when it comes to, um, sorry, if it's not reconciliation, you're wanting a reunion. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Taurus. Or if you're not dealing with the Pisces, then the high priestess on top of the three of cups would just say that something within you your intuition, your, um, yeah, you're able to tap inside of yourself to know what is for you. And that is showing you this thing that wants to come together for you at this time. The Three of Swords represents, the Three of Swords is clarified by the Four of Wands. So there was a marriage or commitment, something that was very passionate and it, this is my twin flame card, but it's also um, just a, a, a partnership card, right? A marriage and commitment card, and that fell out for you. You didn't see it coming with someone. You didn't see it possible with someone, and that left you heartbroken. Possibly has you is the reason why you're heartbroken today, is the reason why you feel um, neglected or, yeah, just sad. I see you feeling sad here. But on top of your Six of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Cups on top of that. So the Ten of Cups is clarifying the equal give and take. So I think something that you want to, someone that you want or something that you want to give back to you equally was, um, was leaving you emotionally disappointed in the past. And that's what's still affecting your future is that this equal... Um, give and take that you're desiring is still affected by this grand disappointment that you felt from someone or something. The seven of pentacles on top of that is the page of cups. So maybe the seeds that were planted are now presenting themselves to you. Maybe someone is coming to you now, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, because you have the page of cups on top of these seeds that you planted Someone's sending you an offer of love, a text message of love. They're communicating to you how much they want to be with you, how much they want to um, 
love you because this is this is an offer of love, whether it was a phone call or a text message, an email, a Facebook message. Someone has communicated to you that they really want to, to love you. This is Pisces energy, so they did it in a very dreamlike way. You have big Pisces energy here, Taurus. So someone's trying to be very romantic with you, and they're trying to court you. I see that. So you have the Eight of Pentacles. On top of the Eight of Pentacles is the Tower card. So something that you're working on is coming to an end so it can build again, right? Um, the Tower is going to say that you were working on something in the past because you've, you've built from the Six to the Seven to the Eight. So I feel like you're getting ready to break down something to rebuild it again. Something that you were once working on very diligently, very um, particular about how it was growing. And now that it's trying to um, build with you, because I see in the past that they weren't trying to be equal with you. And that was very emotionally disappointing to you. I see now that they are giving you this very, very tiny glimpse of hope that says they're ready to be mature about their emotions. Um, I don't think this person is all that mature yet, Taurus, but I do see that they are trying to court you and trying to tell you how much they do love you. And so this in the future is going to allow you to rebuild something with them, whether this is in business, family, or a relationship. This message is just the start, Taurus. It's just the very, very beginning. So the advice is someone that you've walked away from. If you're the female, right, you're embodying this energy of being so attractive to this person, Taurus. You look very powerful to this person. And... You've walked away from them, Eight of Cups reversed, or if this is, let's see, if this is the male Taurus, yeah, if you're the male Taurus, then you're, you're watching someone like this with this Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarian energy of being very attractive, very powerful, and if you are the Taurus female, then this is you, and your advice is someone that you walked away from to take another look. Um, maybe not rush back in if this is the woman, right? Don't rush back in, but then just allow them to, to express their emotion to you. Maybe allow this to rebuild because I see you did work on it in the past. You did want this, even though it left you very emotionally upset. Um, I think that they're ready to start, but pay attention to what they're showing you, okay? I'm not saying that they're mature yet because they are showing a page. They're showing up like a page, so they're only sending you these these fuzzy phone calls and text messages of how much they love you and how much they want to be with you. But I would want, if I was the Taurus here, I, I would expect them to come a little bit more than a page. So if you're dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, just pay close attention to the fact that they're not being very, very mature at this time, but they do have love for you and they do want to express that to you. Again, this is someone that you walked away from if you're the female, and if you're the male, then this female walked away from you and you're, you're just going about your emotions in a very childish way, which is okay, you know. It's, it's fun at that time, but to build something because in the future you're going this Taurus, whether it's the male or female, Taurus is very particular about how they build things. They're, they are the masters of this world, right? They ground this material world. They are the kings of this world. And I can see that they've gone about their life from the six to the seven to the eight of pentacles in a very particular way. So in order for them to build with you for the cross watcher, you would have to come more than just a page. Okay. 
All right. So thank you so much again, Taurus, for listening to my video and allowing me to channel these messages for you. I really do enjoy doing this monthly for you and tapping into your energy and getting to know all of you. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share these with your friends and your family members. If you know someone who's going through something like this and they need some, some clarity and some reassurance, just go ahead and reach out and say maybe they should watch this video. I'm doing free personal readings, so please check the information box below. My email address is Merging Timelines. These videos are always going to be intended for my sun and moon placements. And again, thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.